U.S. is calling me? Is this for real? Fraud is real. A new series of public service announcements is warning Americans of an age-old tax scam that's taking more and more new victims to the cleaners. In the scam, criminals call American taxpayers pretending to be IRS agents and demand phony back taxes. Often, the criminals threaten to call the police if the taxpayer hangs up the phone. It makes me angry because I feel, first of all, bad for the victims. And then I, I feel angry that these criminals are using the IRS as a means to scare people into paying them money. The inspector general for the IRS says as many as 5,000 victims have paid as much as $26.5 million to the scam artists who can be located inside the United States or around the world. The scam began by targeting new immigrants to the United States and threatening deportation and other penalties. But the inspector general says it has since mutated and now is targeting every demographic group. Early in the scam, the callers had some sort of information about you. They may have four digits of your social security number. Now they're just randomly making blanket calls. And they've also shifted now to also calling cell phones. El fraude es real. That's why the agency has released five new videos in both English and Spanish telling people that the IRS will not call you out of the blue and threaten to arrest you. And the government has one piece of advice for anyone getting such a call. Hang up on fraud. You can't be tricked into giving personal information if you hang up the phone, and you certainly can't be tricked into paying them money, harassed or intimidated into paying them something if you simply just hang up the phone. But what if the caller really was from the U.S. government? Well, the inspector general says not to worry. The IRS won't be offended if you hang up on them. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Javers in Washington.